here's where the microphone's at. The microphone's right here. It's just draping. That's the status, Gladys. So we're off on a city adventure. We've got the NO H5 external mic with an adventure power pack that should last, well, at least for this ride. That was second gear. All right, we're on a TTR-125. Probably a whole 15 horsepower. So we're not gonna get above 30 mile per hour. We're not gonna be really looking at wind noise. Volume setting should be at level two. Uh, we've got the mitten over the boom. Sorry about that. We've got the mitten over the boom. And uh, that's about it. I'm not really concerned about the video quality. I want to hear what this external microphone has to offer. So we'll try to do, oh, well, maybe we won't go down to Nicollet Island. Maybe I should test it just on this little short runs, see what's going on. Man, this bike is tiny. But I suppose it's not going to hurt to go down there. I have zero footage of that. So let's see. Let's hook it up to the Wi-Fi. See what... See how the cameras... Hey, stop looking at that. Hey. All right. Because there's no other Wi-Fi around, the H5 is connected. No, I really... Oh, there we go. So, I don't know. I'd say that's that's right on, Don. We'll keep her there. Yeah, we're going a little grandfatherly pace here. I'm not feeling particularly in a mood to tear it up. Why would I be? All right, so we're we're probably going 15 mile an hour here. I'll have to cut this branch off. Reeps. Manway.
All right, that was one of the more difficult stretches on this. There's a few other touchy ones down here. But not like you're going to hit a building or take a clothesline. All right, we are on a uh, Burlington Northern Santa Fe main line headed to the Headed to Minneapolis, crosses over the Mississippi River onto Nicollet Island. Now we're gonna we're gonna stop right there and not cross over. But uh, we'll check out some of the fine artwork, the urban artists, and uh, just really take in the pristine. cleanliness of all oh, the, the urban area. I mean, actually this isn't looking too bad. <laughs> and it is a Sunday, so uh, somebody's collecting rocks. It's been a rather balmy and rain forecast for later on today. Rabbit. Hey, there he is. He's like, what the hell? Uh, I don't really know where I want to go here. I normally go low. But she's a little swampy and I was just catching some burrs there. I don't like this. Right through the thistles. That weren't too bad. Workers gloves. Well, let's get down there. So this is the first time I've had this much water. Not that I mind riding in it, but... I kind of like to know... Make 
we got a train coming. Train, train, train. <laughs> I'd say that was just in the nick of time. Let's go see if we can see it. It might be stopped. Where'd she go? There it is. So, that's an old disconnected route that went to Boom Island. This used to be industrial. This is a little eddy that runs off the Mississippi right here. And the main run of the Mississippi's on the other side of Nicollet Island. That's Nicollet Island out there. Uh, and this eddy runs runs a bit of a ways. University of Minnesota runs a hydro lab from it. Well, look at that. The train's just sitting there. So it ran into some thistles. What does it mean? <laughs> I'm calling that train stopped. No, it's moving. Well, I suppose I'll cut this short and get the return set up. I don't know if that thing's setting up cars or what it's doing, but if it's running that slow, I'd have to run on the other side. Okay, so this video is to demonstrate the H5 external microphone's quality. I will use this sped up portion of the video to uh, discuss the pros and cons that I found. Now, I, I am not uh, technically savvy in really anything. I would rather just use it and uh, th that's that. I, I'm not one to delve into the nuances of how it operates and uh, all its features and and that sort of thing though I am grateful for those that can explain that portion of of anything whether it's the the motorcycle uh, mechanic or the motorcycle uh, expert writer I, I am grateful to hear from them but really I just want to ride and uh, capture video with some Good audio and I found that the, the H5 uh, so far for me was really just plug-and-play and with the exception of the firmware upgrade that is required for the internal and external mic to recognize 
each other, which one you're using. Uh, there, there was really no glitch. Uh, I do have a preference, though, in terms of the the, the microphone. Uh, I don't know connect connection um, fastening, whatever. I I I really would prefer more of the K5 style where there's just a mic at the end of a uh, loose wire that that I could find a nook or a cranny in my helmet and put it in there. Uh, this boom setup, I, I it's not really suited for me. Uh, maybe it is for you. But uh, I just ended up hooking it over the uh, chin guard into that... Uh, that blue space, and it was getting direct air. So I was pleasantly surprised that the H5 mic at level two didn't pick up any excessive wind noise. So with that being said, I hope to provide uh, settings uh, from the app on this ride, and uh, well, good luck to you. So this, uh, at one point, I don't know when it was decommissioned, but it used to be a service yard. Uh, there's a turntable and a roundhouse here. And there is currently uh, an old steam engine, the 261 commissioned in 1945, decommissioned in 1949, and it's got a club that does, uh, that maintains it. It's restored it and maintained it to its former luster, and they do rides, springtime and harvest. This train's been here for a month now. They must want to get it painted. Uh, but the roundhouse, right over there, turntable's been buried, filled in, backfilled, I should say. The hole has been backfilled. I don't know what they did with the table. Oh, our guy's coming down the track. I better get where I need to be because I don't know if he's going northbound or eastbound. Oh no, what was that that I saw? Well, it weren't no train, that's for sure. Alright, so far the old guy hasn't injured himself, so that says something. live to ride again. I don't like riding in the debris field. I can't see what's in there. There's so much crap down here. Jumps up at you. Can happen. Breaks you. Manway. Yeah, the uh, 261 runs these cars here. That's a cool local. Check that out. 32A. And so this is some more fine work uh, by Tigers. I don't see any, oh, except for the guy that came along and put an X across everyone else's. And that must be, what, the guy in the top line? Another shoe. Yep, 
Yeah, something did catch me in the leg. I think I'm gonna have uh, a couple abrasions to discover on my right, my right shin. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, because because I have uh, this camera and the uh, power pack, I I really don't want to go too crazy. I, I, th I think I've met that, that bar. I've stayed below the crazy bar. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look at the video. There's a Blue Jay. As far as it wasn't squawking at me. Okay, so here's it. Let's do a speed test here. First gear. Second gear. Third gear. Oh, I learned something. It's got four gears, fourth gear. So we gotta be doing, I don't know, that had to have been 25, 30. That not bad. We'll see how that, that sounds. Bug on the nose. Come on. Where is ya? Oh, dang. <laughs> That's the first time <laughs> I missed the hydrant. me marker mulberry tree oh it'd be so nice to be out in the country and be able to really set up a course